Hey, what's up, ladies? It's the Relationship Guru, said Pharrell. Now, I'm back again with another video just to give you ladies. Now, before I get into this video, please make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and you hit that bell notification so that you're notified every single time I post. And if you are a woman that needs relationship advice, or you wanna learn more about how to think like a man, or why men do the things they do, act the way they act, and think the way they think, that I encourage you to book a one-on-one -on -one session with me. Link is in the description below and I can help you out personally one-on-one -on -one with any questions, concerns, or anything you have regarding your dating life or relationship currently in general. And also brand new on my website. If you want me to coach you every step of the way, step-by-step -step throughout your dating or relationship process and journey, and you want me to become your personal dating coach long-term, then I have a special program just for you. Link is in the description below also. And I can help you out personally again, one-on-one -on -one with any questions, concerns, or anything you have regarding your dating life or relationship currently in general. And also, go pick up my brand new Girls Night card game. It's officially out. So if you're having a game night with your homegirls and you need something to do, then make sure you go pick up my Girls Night card game. It got a lot of fun questions and scenarios about love and relationships and everything all in between. So make sure you go pick that up. Link is in the description below, okay? And then on this hand, we got my brand new ebook. It's called Oh, He's Toxic, period. And if you never want to be played, used, or manipulated by a man ever, ever, ever again your whole life, then make sure you go pick up that ebook right there because it's fire, okay? And again, link is in the description below for that also, okay? And also, if you are a woman and you love love quotes, dating quotes, relationship quotes, and things like that, then I have something special just for you. I came up with my top 100, yes, 100 dating love quotes for women, right? So if you want to go get that, it's on my website. And again, as usual, the link is in the description below also, okay? So all that's out the way, and we gonna jump right into this video. And this video is titled, How to Stop Catching Feelings for Every Man That Shows You Some Type of Attention. Right, ladies? So y'all gotta stop catching so much feelings. Y'all gotta stop expecting so much Y'all got to stop wanting and chasing and hoping and wishing and praying that something comes out of this situation a lot of times as soon as you meet a man or as soon as this man shows you the little bitty, tiniest, teeny bit of attention, all of a sudden you just feel like he's your Prince Charming. You feel like he your husband. You went on one date with this man and you already telling your homegirls, Girl, I think I found the one. I think he the one right now. And, you know, everybody around you like, dang, you just met the guy. Like, chill, pump your brakes, slow down, hold up, take your time. Why are you rushing this so bad? You don't even know him. A lot of y'all women, you rushing into something, jumping head first into a situation just simply off your attraction to that man, you just see, you know, he tall or he handsome or he got a nice car or he got a good job or, you know, he got his own business or, you know, he in school to be the next whatever, you know, stuff like that. You see this man got a lot of potential. He got a lot of things going for himself. You see that he, you know, you like him. You say, whoa, whoa, I like him. What's up? You know what I'm saying? And you so happy and you get so overly excited. And a lot of times it end up not even working out and you know high expectations also lead to high disappointments because you will be you will be very disappointed a lot of times when you don't get what you want and you expected and you hoped and wished that it was going to be something based off of just surface level things but you never actually took the time out and you actually never got the time to 
really reflect and get to know this God for who he is and outside of what he has and what he does, right? Sometimes you got to paint the bigger picture and, or instead of you just wanting a man just to have a man, because it's a lot of women, you know, you just want a man so bad, you don't care who it is. You just like any man that shows you attention, if he halfway decent enough, he it. Okay, I'm, I'm settling. And you just end up settling for any man to come your way or the best option at the time. You just like, eh, ain't nothing else around. I guess I'll just choose whatever, you know, or eh, I guess, you know, I want a man real, real bad. So I need to hurry up and get somebody right now, you know, so you get so caught up and you start catching feelings and you get so attached and you start chasing, chasing, chasing and you start doing too much you know, trying to get this man. And a lot of times he don't even want you. This man don't even want you. And a lot of times he don't want you because you chasing up after him. So if you the one chasing up after him, how is he going to be the hunter if you hunting him? You hunting him. So he like, I ain't got to hunt her. I ain't got to chase up after her. The chase is over with. The fun is over with. Or this man is like, hey. You know, I could use her to my advantage. Since this woman chasing them after me, since, you know, you know, she, she calling me, texting me, you know, good morning, handsome. Good morning, king. Have a good day. You was on my mind today. You know, I just hope that you have the most wonderful day. You just the amazing. You just so amazing as a man, you know, blah, blah, blah. You don't even know this guy and you doing too much. You know what I'm saying? You cannot be doing too much. Let him text you. Let him call you. Let him want to see you. You like, when can I see you? When you going to take me out? When can we hang out? Oh, oh, I miss you. Oh, I, oh, I want to see you so bad, right? And you thirsty and you doing too much. Like, you need to chill because you doing too much. And a lot of guys, they take that as weakness, they take you chasing him and, you, and they take you showing too much interest. Like it's one thing to show interest, but it's another thing to chase. And a lot of women, they they get it too confused because you supposed to be, you know, of course, interested. But chasing is a whole nother thing. When you chasing a man and he ain't calling you, he ain't texting you or you feel like you're doing majority of the pursuing. You're doing majority of the work. If you feel like, hey. If I don't call this man and I don't text this man, I just feel like we just ain't going to talk because I feel like he ain't going to call me. He never called me. I'm always the one calling him. Then that's a problem because you catching feelings and you like him so much, you running him off. That's what you doing. You sitting over here running this man off and he don't want you because he's like, dang, girl, get off me. OK, like, let me chase you. Let me want you. You know, you got to play hard to get. A lot of women, they lost that element in playing hard to get. You want the men so bad, you feel like, I want a husband. I want to settle down. I want kids. I want a house. I want the cars. I want the whole lifestyle right now. And you just jump for any man to just come your way. And a lot of times he take advantage of you. He use you because all you doing is just giving, giving, giving. You start, you know, you trying to prove yourself to this man that and you try to reel him in and you try to seduce him so bad and you're trying to chase up after him and you're trying to be a pick me pick me pick me pick me type of woman that man don't want you so now you over here cooking cleaning giving him sex whenever he wants to you know you rubbing his bag rubbing his feet you know giving him money feeding this man clothing this man giving him clothes and shoes and you know, spending your money, you doing so much, paying all his bills, doing so much for this man, and he don't do nothing for you or would not do nothing for you or has not invested anything into you yet to even deserve that type of treatment. So a lot of times you're asking to be taken advantage of because you want him too bad and you too thirsty and you too desperate. You got to stop being so desperate for a man that I need a man. I got to have one. You know, I cannot be alone. You got to learn how to be alone. 
you have to learn how to, you know, properly go through the process of getting to know somebody first before you even invite them into your life. Don't just be inviting anybody into your life just because they show you some attention. Because a lot of times within that first few months or the first few weeks of y'all meeting each other, this man is putting on his representative. So he acting like he really like you or he acting like he interested or maybe this man is, you know, pursuing you back. You know, you calling him, he call you back, you text him, he takes you back, stuff like that. But a lot of times, you know, or maybe you're doing a little bit more to pursue him, but he's still kind of, you know, texting you back here and there. You know, a lot of times this man will still feel like, oh, you know, this woman is chasing back to me. I ain't got to do nothing. I ain't got to put in no effort. I don't have to chase her because she chasing me. So he just sit back, relax, and he don't got to do no effort and put in no work. And you do not know this man's intentions. So when you first meet this man, you may think that he really like you. You may think that he really wants you, but a lot of times he don't. He acting and pretending like he do just so he can get in good with you and just so he can use you because he know you like him so much and he didn't have to invest into you. He didn't have to show you nothing. He didn't have to do as much as you did. So he didn't have to come off as much as you did because you was the chaser because you caught too much feelings and you wanted him so bad for whatever reason. Either you didn't want to be alone. A lot of women, you know, you don't want to be alone or you're scared of, you know, dating. Maybe you're tired of of dating you know you say Sid I'm so tired of dating I'm tired of jumping from man to man and, and getting rejected or my heart broken or you know all these men just all they want is sex they don't want nothing serious blah 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 and you just settle for any man to come your way or just the, the best man to show you some type of attention that's halfway decent and you just like whatever so whatever or you just want the 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 husband the children the marriage you want that so bad right now because you probably feel like you know time is ticking i ain't got a whole lot of time for, for me to be you know i'm trying to produce these kids and stuff like that you know i'm trying to you know hurry up that process right now i may not have a whole lot of time you know you may feel like that so you're rushing into something that you should not be in right or a lot of times, you know, you're just so insecure within yourself that you feel like you need a man to complete you. You need a man to validate you. You need a man by your side, right? Or again, it's because you compare yourself to other relationships, right? So you say, I'm single, so, you know, nobody want me. And, you know, that means that I'm worthless as a woman because you compare yourself to all these other women and all your friends and family members and people on TV, celebrities, you know, stuff like that in their relationships. And you like looking at yourself like, I don't have no relationship. I'm single. I'm worthless. I I wish I had the relationships like those YouTube couples, you know, I wish I had the relationships like, you know, people, those celebrities, you know, certain celebrities, or you wish you had the relationships like your friends and family, you know, do your homegirls maybe in relationships or maybe in marriages and you not. So you comparing yourself to them. And that's something that you do not need to do. You don't need to be comparing your life, yourself to other women or other relationships, right? Just because you're single does not mean that you're worthless. You're just finding yourself and you're just preparing yourself. So when that man does find you, you will be 100% and he will be working on himself that whole time. And he will be 100% and y'all will come together and be very powerful, right? So being single, it, it, it ain't bad. You just working on yourself in that meantime. So it ain't nothing wrong with being single. You know what I'm saying? So you don't have to feel like you're rushing and have to jump into nothing, right? So ladies, in this video, right, you may ask me, Sid, okay, I figure out the reason why I should not catch feelings because I'm doing too much. I'm chasing him and he might not even like me. He might take advantage of me, stuff like that. So how do I actually go about not catching feelings? How do I not catch feelings? You may say, Sid, it's hard for me to pull back my feelings. You know, I fall in love really fast. A lot of y'all women, y'all fall in love too fast. You fall in love real fast. You care too much too fast. You overdo it too much. You know, you overextend yourself too much too fast. 
and you felt like Sid, how do I kind of pull back and kind of chill? I want to chill and I want to not do too much, right? I want the man to come to me. I want the man to chase me. I want... I want the man to catch feelings for me. You don't want to be the one only catching feelings for him. You want to see if that man catching feelings for you first before he know that you catching feelings for him. You want to know if he catching feelings for you first. So now you can do what you need to do with that information. Don't give him the power first, right? So ladies, I'm going to give you my top five. Yes, five ways how you can stop catching feelings for every single man that come your way. If you are a woman that falls in love too fast, this how you kind of pull back and chill out, right? Okay, so number one, the first way how you don't catch feelings for a man and get too excited for catching feelings for a man is you have to date multiple men. So... You got to date multiple men. If you out here dating one man at a time, then a lot of times, guess what? You will cling to the first man that come your way. If you don't have no options, if you ain't dating nobody, then the first man that show you some attention, you just jump on him because that's your only source of attention. And if he's your only source of attention, a lot of times you'll do anything for that attention. You'll do anything and you're reliant and you become dependent on him to validate you. So if this man get to tripping, it's affecting you real bad. If this man get to, you know, wilding out and disrespecting you or pull back or whatever he do, it affects you a lot. It affects you, you know, because you care too much and you are only, you're throwing all your eggs in one basket. You cannot throw all your eggs in one basket. You got to stop doing that. If you want a husband, you want to maximize your options and your potential prospects and you want to get them aligned with your morals and values and pick the best man out of those options, right? Right. Don't just go for the first offer offered to you and you don't know what else is out there. You know, you never want to do that. You never want to do that. You never want to go for the first offer offered to you, right? You got to look at it like this. If you are a famous singer, let's just say you a famous singer. You know, you got a hit on the radio. You a singer. You know, you got your number one hit is going crazy, right? And you got all these record labels that want you, right? And you know that you got a hot song. And you know that probably a lot of record labels are probably going to be looking your way, right? So if you got all these record labels looking your way. So with that being said, if you get one record label that come your way and they say, hey, we're going to offer you this deal right here, right? We're going to offer you this one deal. And you're going to say, oh, 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 it's a deal. It's a deal. A record label want me. They want to sign me. Oh, I'm going to just sign my name, right? I'm going to sign my name and I'm signed. Yes, yes, yes. Because you wanted a deal so bad, you were just going to sign your name and just commit to this deal. And a lot of times they said, yes, it was a trap because it might have been a terrible deal. They might, You might have just got pressured to sign just because you wanted it so bad and you just want to be a celebrity so bad. You want to be, you know, broadcasted more. You want to be signed to a label. You're like, okay, I want this so bad. This is my dream of being a singer, right? But that record label might have took advantage of you and might have and might have made you sign a terrible contract. And now they're taking all your money, right? <laughs> but if you would have waited, if you would have took your time to read through that contract, right? And also you would have waited and saw what other offers came around, you probably would have seen that another whole nother record label had a better offer for you with even more money and you was going to keep a lot of your money and you was going to get a lot of money, you know what I'm saying? And all that, it was a good deal. But you wouldn't have seen that deal if you because you went for that first offer. But you should have just waited. So you could have saw the better and the bigger picture. And you could have got signed to an even better record label that benefited you way more. And you should have did that way. And now you just signed to a terrible contract and a terrible deal when you should have just waited. So that's what a lot of women do in relationships. 
you go for the first man that show you some attention just because you want a man so bad and you sign your name and you commit yourself to a man that is not committed to you a lot of times and they'll only want to take advantage of you because they saw the desperation in your face and they saw the desperation in how you interacted with them and they like, oh, well, you want me so bad. Let me see what you willing to do for me. Let me see how how I can benefit off of this. You want me so bad? You want to be a part of this label, right? You want to be a part of my record label? Let me see how bad you want to be famous, you know? Or let me see how bad you want to be with me. You know what I'm saying? So, oh, you want to be my, my girl? Oh, let me show... Oh, you got to show me. Let me see how, how how much you're willing to do and how far you're willing to go to be my girl. So he going to take advantage of you. So you can't go for the first offer offered to you. Don't throw your eggs in one basket. Don't put all your money in one bet. If you put all your money in one bet and that bet go to zero, now you lost all your money, right? But if you put a whole bunch of but if you spread your money out and you put money here, money here, money here, money here, then guess what? If one of those deals, if one of those bets don't work out, you're not tripping as hard because you like, I ain't lose all my money. I only lost a little bit, but I still got these other bets that I'm looking at, right? So you're not tripping over that one bet that didn't go through. You know, because you put all your money into it. You ain't put all your money into it. You put your money on this bet, this bet, this bet, this bet. So if one bet go wrong, you still got other bets that could probably, you know, make up for that bet. You know what I'm saying? And and even out. So you won't even be tripping, right? So you got to just make sure that you're going through and you're actively dating. That's the point of dating. That's the point of dating. The whole point of dating is collecting data. You're trying to see what you like, what you don't like, what work, what don't work. How you gonna see what work, what you like, what you don't like if you only doing it with one person? One person is not gonna provide you with the variety of experiences that you need to know about yourself as a woman that's gonna bring all that out of you. One person is not gonna bring everything that you need out of you. You need a variety of men to see different personalities, different types of men. You need to be able to see what you like. You don't even know what you like if you just going towards one man just because of whatever reason, you know what I'm saying? You got to see what else is out there so that you can even see what matches with you. And you can even see what correlates and the morals and values that come together with you. You don't want to just be out here clinging to one man and it don't work out and y'all don't fit because you thought it would. No, you want to actually, actually see and, and court and vet each man just like how he courting and vetting you. If you want a lifetime partner, you need to be seeing each man, what, what's up with you, what's up with you, what's up with you, and may the best man win. You don't have time to be worried about one man and you throw all your eggs in one basket and that one man waste all your time. No, you get multiple men, you date multiple men, and if one man want to waste your time or one man want to act act up and he want to get to tripping, he want to start some drama or he want to start, you know, acting up, whatever, then you cut him off and you're not worried about cutting him off. It's easy. It's way, way, way easier to cut a man off when he's not the only man you're talking to. Correct? If you are dating multiple men at a time and one guy don't and one guy start acting up, it's easier for you to cut him off because you got other guys that want you and other guys that's probably buried in him anyways. So you're not even tripping because you got other guys anyways that you're dating. You don't necessarily have to have sex with these guys. I didn't say nothing about sex. You don't have to have sex with every guy that you date. You can date around and not give your body to these men. You can definitely date multiple men at a time and you don't have to have sex with every last one of them. You don't. You can date and not have sex and just see and go on dates and just see what's, what he's talking about or just see if he's a good man. See if, you know, what he's willing to invest into you, how he's willing to chase you, how he's willing to prove that he's a good man to you instead of you breaking your neck to see if you're a good woman for him, you know? 
Don't do that. So you want to date multiple men, okay? And see what you like. Don't just go for one man and throw all your eggs in one basket, okay? So that's number one. So number two, the second way how you as a woman, how you can stop catching feelings for any man is you have to let this man prove himself to you. If you do not let this man prove himself to you, then you going to be proving yourself to him. And again, you are the one that's going to be doing all of the work. You never want to be the one doing all the work. That's so exhausting. Being the chaser, being the one always calling, always texting, always pursuing is so exhausting. And what's going to happen is, you know, over time, you're going to start thinking, does this man even like me? Does this man even want me? You know, I really like him. I really want him. But it don't seem like he want me. It don't seem like... He care. And now you start stressing yourself out, wondering if he like you the way you like him. And a lot of times he can't because you didn't even give him a chance to. You didn't even give this man a chance to see if he even liked you or not. So you have to make this man invest into you before you start investing into him. Let him chase you. Let him call you, text you, want to see you, take you out, spend money on you. Don't spend your money on him. You don't know that man. Don't spend your money on him. He he needs to spend his money on you. That's what men do. He needs to take you out. You know what I'm saying? Don't be taking him out on dates and stuff and spending your money on him. No, you know, don't give him that luxury because then he don't have to do nothing. If he's serious, he will take you out. And you have to watch this man's actions and watch his words. His actions and his words need to always line up. So if he say he going to do it, he actually do it. Or if he say one thing, it's actually the truth and he actually going to do it. And he actually does it, right? If he says one thing, then he's actually performing and actually producing whatever he says, right? So his action and his words are lining up. And also, he's consistent with, you know, the communication. So if this man is consistent with you, you need to let him be consistent with you instead of you being consistent with him. You need to let him be a man and let him chase you, let him hunt. You need to watch his consistency over time. Don't just, you know, start, don't just, you know, start reaching out to him. Don't never reach out to a man first. In the first, in the first few weeks, first few months, don't reach out to a man first. Let him do all the pursuing, majority of the pursuing in the beginning, right? And then once he started, you know, investing into you, then you can start, you know, calling him here and there, texting him here and there. Once he proved himself to you over time, you know, then here and there, you know, if you want to send a, a text message once a month, hey, you know, hey, good morning, have a good day once a month, hey, you could do that. Ain't nothing wrong with that, you know? But don't be every day, good morning, handsome, good morning, king, good morning, hey, you know, I hope you have a wonderful day, you so handsome, you so handsome, you know, blah, 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 like, girl, calm down, chill out, like, let him text you, good morning, beautiful, good morning, I want you to have a wonderful day. Don't that feel so much better when he texts you that first and you wake up with that message instead of you waking up, you know, texting him and he may or may not text you back? This man may or may not even text you back. And a lot of times you set yourself up. You set yourself up for, you know, disappointment because now you're disappointed because he did not respond back to your text messages or he is not calling you or answering your phone calls or wanting to see you like you want to see him. So that's why I said let him prove himself to you so you can reap all the benefits and sit back and relax and let him come to you. And then that feels so much better. That feels so much better when, when he asks you, when can I see you? Now you get to choose. Oh, you can see me this day. You can see me this day. Or, oh, I'm busy this day. Or, oh, you know, I'm doing something this day, whatever. Now you got the power to decide. Instead of giving him the power, now you got the power. Instead of instead of you 
calling him, he need to call you. Now you got the power to answer or decline or not pick up. You know, now you got the power. You want him to text you, so now you got the power to respond back or not. Now he the one sweating. Is she gonna text me back? I don't know. She, you know, he's sweating right now. He like, is she gonna text me? You know, is she gonna call me? Is she, you know, is she gonna answer my phone calls? Is she going to want to see me? If I ask her to see me today, is she going to be available? Like, you want him to be stressing over you, waiting for a text back, waiting for a call back, waiting for you to answer your phone. You want him to be stressing out over you. So you won't be stressing out over him, right? So let him, so let the man be a man and prove himself to you and remain in your feminine energy and just receive everything and you don't have to be the hunter let him hunt let him do all the hard work and all the chasing and you sit back and you get all the power don't give your power away to him let him give you the power and now you decide what you want to do with him okay so that's number two so number three the third way how to not catch feelings for a man that shows you some type of attention is do not get too close to him. So again, don't be getting too close to this man. The reason why you catching feelings for this man in the first place is because you want him so bad and you're getting too attached to him because you're probably spending a lot of time with him or you're probably, you know, talking on the phone with him a long time or you're probably, you know, you know, texting him all day long. You know, you need to stop doing that. The reason why you catch a feeling is do not be on the phone with this man all day long, all night long, stuff like that. You know, in the beginning, you being too available. Don't be seeing this man three, four, five, six times out the week. You know, some women, when you first meet a man, y'all seeing each other every day, or you want to see him every single day, or, or you let him see you, you know, every single day. No, you got to have a balance. You can't let him see you. You can't let him see you three, four, five times out the week. You know, in the beginning, when you first meet him, he needs to get once, maybe twice out the whole week. And twice is pushing it. Really, it needs to be once a week, you know, maybe I'll see you and we can hang out and do something. It shouldn't be no every day, every other day we hanging out. When I first meet this man, we all of a sudden talk on the phone and now we hanging out, you know, every other day. Or we hanging out, you know, three days out the week, you know, in our first First month of dating, first two, three months of dating, we hanging out, you know, four, five times out the, out the week. No, you giving him too much access to you. You showing him that you like him too much. You're showing him that you too available for him and you willing to do whatever for him at the drop of a dime and you got your life on halt, on pause for him and you ain't got nothing else better to do with your life but sit and wait on the phone for him or wait for him to call you or wait for him to text you or wait for him to come see you because you don't got no life. You need to have a life outside of a man. You need to be doing doing stuff also outside of dating so you don't get too attached to these men. Now, you can let him take you out, right? I'm saying you got to have a balance, right? You can let him take you out, but it don't have to be every single day or it don't have to be, you know, every or it don't have to be you know all day events you know if he want to take you out you know out for dinner or something let it be that you know or maybe you know out to dinner and maybe you know out for dessert maybe i go to a little dessert place or something that's fine you know that's cool you know and let it be that and then go home don't be out all night with this man or don't be you know, spending the whole day with this man. No, y'all do one to two activities together for a few hours, maybe, you know, for a few hours, you know, together. And then you got to go. You cannot be giving him too much of your time. You know, let him take you out, but you want him to be wanting more. If you give him so much at one time, now he full, his belly full, right? But... If you give him some time, but then you say, oh, you know, I got to go. You know, it's fun. You know, I have really a lot of fun on a date, but I got to go do something at this time. So, you know, we got to wrap this up. 
Now, this man like, oh, you know, this woman is a very busy woman. She got a lot going on and I want to see her more and, and, I, and I value our time more because our time is limited. Now he value you more. He value the time that y'all spend together more because the time that y'all spend together is so limited. But if the time that y'all spend together is always available, now your value goes down. Now he like, this girl always available. I know I can always pick up the phone. She gonna answer. I can always say, what you doing? I'm coming over. What you doing? Okay, pull up on me. Come over. Because you ain't doing nothing with your life. So I know I can always call up the phone and I can snap my finger and you gonna appear. You gonna come over my house. I can come over there. I can take you out. I can do this. I can do that. I got you wrapped around my finger. I can tell you jump right now. You gonna put your clothes on and come on. I tell you get get dressed. Come on. Oh, you ain't got nothing else to do with your life, but you drop everything you doing and you want to see me three, four, five, six times out the week. It should not be that way. No. When you first meet a man in the first few months, a first three months, in the first three months, right? You should not be seeing him more than, especially in the first one to two months, you do not need to be seeing this man more than maybe one to twice a week, right? Once to twice a week. It shouldn't be no more than that. And really probably once a week. In the beginning, in the first month, once a week, he need to be seeing you one time out the week. Not know every single nah, you know. When he your boyfriend, then you can see him often, more periodically, stuff like that. Then you can see him three, four, five, six times out the week. He your man, you know, and you still want to give give yourself some time for him to miss you. But you know, in the beginning, you want to give this man something to miss. Give this man something to want back. So don't be spending all day long on the phone with him or all day long texting him. Cut it short. You know, give him a little time. Cut it short. Give him a, a few little time on the phone. 20, 30 minutes max. I got to go. Don't be spending all day on the phone with him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Spending all day on the phone with this man all night long because now he's like, I got her. You, you, you going to sleep. Waking up, going to sleep, waking up on the phone with this man every night. This man know, oh, she ain't got no other men around her. Oh, she ain't doing nothing with her life. Oh, you know, it ain't no competition. Oh, okay, I ain't got nothing to worry about. And now this man like, hey, you know, it's no chase. I ain't got nothing to worry about. I ain't got... I, I'm not stressing. I'm not tripping, you know? But when, you know, you talk to this man, let's say this man call you. He call you on the phone. You talk to him for about 20, 30 minutes max. You say, hey, you know, it's nice talking to you. You know, I got to go make some runs real quick. I got to call you back. I'll talk to you later. He say, oh, okay, cool. All right, bye. That man like, oh, that girl had to go. She had something else to do. You know, oh, she busy. Oh, you know, I miss her. Oh, I want to talk to her again. Dang, you know, I really enjoyed our conversation. I hate that, you know, the conversation was cut short. I wish that I could talk to her longer. I wanted to talk to her longer. I wish I could talk to her longer. Well, next time I talk to her, I'm a, I'm a, I want to really talk to her. So I need to talk to her again. I need to see her again. And now that makes him want you more. That gets his mind wondering. It gets him to chase you because, you know, he just never know, you know, how much time he going to get with you because the time he get with you is limited because he ain't got all night to talk to you all on the phone and stuff. Now, he know you're not busy. He know you ain't got nothing else going on. You know, he know you boring. You boring. You know, you boring. If I'm talking to you all night on the phone and I just meet you, for one, I know you care. You, for one, I know you like me so much that you ain't got that you will put all your priorities on hold. Or two, you ain't got nothing else to do with your life but talk to me. So I won already. It ain't no chase because I know you like me already, right? But if, you know, I'm limited, if you see this man once a week and, you know, you keep it to like, if you see this man once a week and, you know, when this man called you, you keep it to like 20, 30 minute conversations, you know, and then when you do see this man, you know, you keep it, you keep it kind of short, you know, a few hours, maybe two, three hours, you know, y'all hang out four hours, y'all hang out and that's it. Don't be hanging out all day long, six, seven, eight, nine, ten hour, you know, dates and stuff the whole day, date, no. You know, a few hours is good, you know, two, three, four hours, 
okay, that's a good date, you know, depending on the date, you know, depending on the date. And a lot of times, you know, maybe up to four hours is kind of pushing it, right? But depending on what y'all doing, you know, maybe up to about four hours max, you know, but really about two to three hours is good for a, a first few dates, you know, about two hours for the first maybe few dates, you know, for the first few dates, that's really good. So you don't want to be too available and you want to limit your time and make this man miss you, make this man want you more and make him chase you more. And then you're not getting too close to him. So you're not catching as much feelings for him no more. And now he catching feelings for you because he's like, wow, this woman, I need more. I need more. She see me for two, three hours, you know, once a week. You know, and yeah, we talk on the phone, but that's only for like 20, 30 minutes. I need more, you know, I text her, you know, she texts me back a few times and then, you know, she don't text me no more. You know what I'm saying? She just stopped texting me until the next day. You know, she a busy woman. I need more out of her. I want more. What's up? I got to I got to I got to get more out of her. So now this man is chasing about the you want to see you more, want to call you more, stuff like that and that's good. So you just keep him wanting more. That's how you play hard to get and you also limit your feelings you know, and you don't catch as much feelings for him. So it's a win-win situation, right? So that's number three. So number four, the fourth way, how you as a woman, how you can stop catching feelings for every single man that comes your way is keep yourself busy. So you got to have other things outside of a man, other things outside of dating a lot of times to keep yourself busy. So you need to have hobbies. You need to be, you know, maybe in school or maybe you got to or maybe you're in the workforce or maybe you you got your own business, you know, whatever you're doing, you know, do that. You know, if you're in school or if you got your own business or if you're, you know, climbing a corporate ladder, you know, you got your nine to five, you going to work every day, stuff like that. You know, do that. You know what I'm saying? Do that well, you know? And then and focus on that. You know, focus on bettering yourself, making more money, right? It's all about making more money when you go to school, work, and when you start your own business, it's all about making more money, right? And then, and, and bettering yourself and bettering your skills, right? So just bettering you overall. And then just taking care of yourself, you know, making sure your, your self-care is on point. And then, you know, hanging out with your friends. Go hang out with your homegirls. Go make some friends. If you ain't got no homegirls, go make some homegirls. Go make friends. Go do something. You know, go get out the house. Get some hobbies. You know, find something to do. Find some things you like to do. Find some events you like to go to. Just get out the house. Go do something. Find some stuff you like to do, right? And then that will keep your mind off of men. That will keep your mind off of catching feelings, getting so excited because your life is already complete. When your life is already complete with or without a man, you not tripping if a man go or come or go or come or come or go. It don't even matter. If this man, you know, get the tripping, you ain't you ain't worried about him because you got a complete life. You got your friends, your family members, you know, you got school or or you got your business or you know, you working hard, you know, at work, stuff like that. You know, you focus on you, you focus on what you got going on, you focus on your kids. You got other stuff going on. You ain't even worried about, you know, what what's his name? You ain't even worried about him. He get the tripping, you can cut him off, right? So when you got your own life, you're not dependent on one man and that also helps you that and and that also helps you just not catch feelings for a man, right? So that's number 4. So number 5, the fifth and last and final way how you as a woman, how you can stop catching feelings for every single man that comes your way is you need to put yourself on a pedestal. So you got to put you on a pedestal. Stop putting that man on a pedestal. The reason why you catching so much feelings for him is because you like, oh, you know, you so handsome or, oh, you know, you got all these tattoos. You're so tall. You got a nice car. You got a big old house 
or you work for whatever kind of company, you got a good job, you know, you got, you know, you got these businesses going or, you know, whatever this man got going on, you get so attached to that idea of him that you put him up on a pedestal. You put him up on a pedestal. You like, oh, he's handsome and it goes up. And then you're like, oh, you know, he got tattoos up. Oh, okay. You know, he drive a nice car up. And now by the time you know it, this man, his, your attraction for him is skyrocketed through the roof. And now you put yourself lower than him. And now you feel like, I don't even know if I deserve a guy like that. This guy is out of my league, but I'm going to try to get him though. And, but you put yourself down and you start catching feelings for him because you want him to like you so much because you don't feel like you deserve him. So you start, you know, dancing around trying to get his attention and this man don't even like you. You try to give this man everything, give him sex, money, emotional support, whatever you can for this man. And a lot of times he don't like you. He just going to use you. So don't put him up on a pedestal. When you put yourself on a pedestal, you start looking at him like instead of what can I do for that man, you start looking at what can that man do for me? What does that man have to offer me? What does that man have to supply me? What does that mean? What can he do for me? You know, what does he bring to the table? Instead of this man always asking a woman, what does what, what do women bring to the table? What does he bring to the table? What can he do for your life? You know what I'm saying? And better your life for you. You know, what can he do? So you got to start putting yourself on the pedestal and say, I'm the queen. You know, I'm the queen. I'm the top. I'm the top boss woman. You know what I'm saying? He need to come into my life and he and I need to make sure he a good man for me. So what's up with him? You know, he need to prove himself to me. He need to come to me, you know. So when you start thinking more highly of yourself, then you won't be catching feelings for him. You need to be like, you need to be catching feelings for me. I'm the prize. You know, you as a woman, you got to look at yourself. I'm the prize, you know, instead of me wondering if he like me. That man need to be wondering if you even like him, right? So, ladies, I hope you enjoyed this video. That was how to stop catching feelings for every single man that comes your way. And that shows you some type of attention. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, subscribe, y'all. Hit that bell notification. And I'm out of here. So, till the next video.